Grizzlies fans, welcome into Grizzlies Spotlight. I'm your host, Brett McMillan, and joining me today, pitcher Zach Treese. Zach, thanks for taking some time to be with us. No problem. Happy to be here. Well, you are the defending rookie of the year, not just for the Grizzlies, but for the Frontier League. Coming in year number two, uh, is there a little added pressure when you have an award like that? Uh, not really. It's the same game. You know, it's the same mindset. you got to be in the bullpen ready to go whenever they call your number. Is there anything that you've seen this year, maybe in the way that you prepare yourself or just in the way that you relate to the game that's different now that you're in your second year of pro ball? Um, not too much, really. I had the same mindset coming in last year, just, you know, being aggressive and going at guys. Uh, same, same idea this year, same concept, really. I mean, don't fear anybody, throw them fastball, challenge them. You're a guy out of the state of Arkansas, Division II baseball, and now you're here uh, playing pro ball. I've heard some guys say that there's a time in their career they can look to and say, that's when I knew that I had professional-level stuff. Can you mirror that? Do you think that there's a time in your life where it just kind of happened for you? Um, well, I guess I kind of had a rough ERA in my first few years of college, and then I started playing summer collegiate leagues. And I played in Kentucky, and I made an all-star team there. I was playing with the uh, Pirates. It was in the kit league. And uh, I got the all-star team, and actually it was when I got hurt, and I had elbow surgery, and they moved my nerve over. But, uh, I mean, after that, I came back from rehab, and I came back way better than I was, actually. And it was kind of like, it was impressive to myself seeing that, like, I came back stronger. And just by having that, you know, just seeing that if I work harder, I mean, I can get that much better. But, yeah, I guess 2010 was about the year that I saw that, I mean, I had potential to go further than college and that kind of stuff, yeah. Zach, you're a bullpen guy. And a lot of the time, it's like being a goalie in hockey or a kicker in football. You have to have a little bit different mentality when you're coming in late, especially if you have the lead. For you, what's the key to being locked in and being able to come in and either, A, hold a game, or B, keep a lead when you have one? Well, it all starts in the first pitch, really. You're in the bullpen. You know, you're watching every, like, every pitch the pitcher throws and watch every batter, their tendencies, and where they hit the ball and how their swing is. Uh, you got guys on, you know, you're going to throw throw low, try and get them a ground ball. And, I mean, that's really what I do. I just come in and try to throw strikes, get ahead in the count, and challenge guys. I mean, if they beat me, I mean, it's my best pitch. With the pressure of coming in later in games, do you like that? Do you feed off of it? Or is it something that you have to try to compartmentalize and make sure it doesn't become a distraction? I think I like it. I mean, I definitely like it. It's uh, it's kind of a – you get your adrenaline going, you know. You know you have the game on your hand or in the, on the lines, and it's in your hands, you know. So it's all on you. I like the uh, – kind of like the pressure roll. As I mentioned, you're from Hot Springs, Arkansas, but you kind of have the California surfer guy thing going on, and you embrace that uh, to your credit. Tell me a little bit about that, and uh, just uh, there's got to be some funny stories with people asking you where you're from. Yeah, I mean, the hair, I guess, kind of throws people off saying I'm from California. I get that a lot, but I'm really not. Um, I guess back home, I kind of have the surfer attitude. I like wakeboarding and stuff and be on the lake with my friends, and that's kind of just like the laid-back lifestyle I guess Californians supposedly have. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's just kind of my personality. It's I just go with it. Let's talk a little bit about wakeboarding. You just brought it up, and it's something that you do, and you do pretty well, Zach. Tell us about your wakeboard career. Uh, I mean, it's not much of a career. <laughs> um, I, honestly, we don't even own a boat. I have a board, and that's about it. And a couple of my buddies have boats, and I just kind of picked it up. It's it's pretty fun. I mean, do a couple of different flips and get a couple of good snapshots every now and then. But, yeah, I mean, it's not anything competitive yet. I mean, definitely baseball first. You've got to be an athlete to either play baseball or to wakeboard. That takes a lot of strength. Do you see any comparisons or parallels mentally or physically between those sports? Uh, not really. I think wakeboarding is kind of just like a, lax, like a relaxed kind of thing. You can do that when you're old. I feel like now I'm in a prime. I definitely want to go with the baseball. <laughs> Zach, talk to me a little bit about you're coming in right-handed batter. Let's say eighth inning, nobody out, nobody on. How do you go ahead and attack a batter and get him out? First pitch strike, um, whether it be fastball, change up slider, uh, get ahead 0-2, go with the slider, try to get them to chase it. If not, you know, make your next best pitch. Definitely slider, though. That's kind of a, my go-to. Zach, thanks so much, and uh, good luck the rest of the season. No problem. Thank you. This has been Grizzly Spotlight with Zach Treese. I'm your host, Brett McMillan.